Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to calculate the elevation value for a particular desire point location. So here I'm having some village location point. When I will right click and open attribute table, you will see I'm having some village name is there. And I'm interested to get the elevation value for that location. So how we can able to get that, that we're going to see today. So this is the dem and this dem is a projected. You can able to download the dem from the UHS Earth Explorer. I will provide the link in the description box from where you can able to know how to download the digital elevation model from UHS Earth Explorer. So after that, I'm having this topo sheet as well. In the topo sheet, you can able to download this topo sheet from the survey of India. And uh, there are some village name are there. Okay, some village are there. So on that village, I have taken some points there. Okay, this point I have taken. And I'm interested to know what is the exact elevation at that location. Okay, so when you will see here, I'm having this dam. And on that dam, there is a point I have created. Okay, and this point are belong to these locations. So when I will check the identity tool, okay, when I will take the identity tool and when I will click here, you will see some pixel value is there. So this pixel value indicating the elevation of that location. Okay. If I'll click here, you will see, and I'm interested to calculate the elevation for this point, this point, what are the point of interest for that? I'm interested to calculate. So for that, what we need to do, we need to create a point shape file first. So how we can able to create a point shape file. So just click on the layer. Then create layer option is there. Then you can create a new shape file layer. So like here, we need to provide a location where we want to save our file. So I'll click on the browse here. I will create a new folder. I will provide the name point location. So here I will save point just click on the save and then the geometry type i will select a point feature and here we can provide a utm zone so this is the same as a 43 utm zone i will select a 43 utm zone i will provide the name of the village then i will select here as a text data because i am interested to uh, add a name of the village so i will add a text data then click on the add to field list and this by default created field i don't want so i'll remove it and then just click on the ok so you will see the new point shape file is created so just click on the toggle editing okay and on this village locations and you can take the point here like take the add point control then you just need to click and you just need to provide the name there what is the name of the village? So like I will add here. So some name I have add here. Okay. So like this, you can just take the point and you can add name there. So like this, I have already, after that, you can just click on the save and stop it. So you will have this point, point feature with you. Okay. After creating a point feature, I'm interested to extract the elevation value. Okay, so for that, we just need to go to processing and toolbox. In the processing toolbox, we need to search a raster value. Simple raster value option is there, simple raster value. So just click on the simple raster value. After that, we need to provide input layer as our this village name or point shape file, whatever you will create. We need to add this file here. And after that, projected dem this is my projected dem that i will add here and after that output file what is the name of the output file that you can save here okay if you want to save you can save this i will go just by default and i will just click on the run option so it is saying that it is finished so i'll just click on the close and these are the sampled value this is previously i have created but i will take it at the top and you will see attribute table here so you will see the name of the 
village which we have seen previously so if we we'll right click open attribute table we'll see these are the names and the new file is created where it is showing the elevation value at that location okay what are the point we have taken if i'll select this we'll see this is the highlighted okay and this location is showing there is a 64 meter elevation height is there so accordingly that you can able to calculate an elevation value suppose you want to calculate the latitude and longitude okay so you can add a new field here and you provide the name suppose like i want to calculate the x first okay and then i will take a decimal and here we need to go to geometry and in the geometry you will see there is a dollar x option is there dollar x and dollar y is there so dollar x you can able to see the dollar x we can able to calculate whatever the field we have selected for that automatically the dollar x will be calculated so just add here and just click on the ok so you will see accordingly that we can add the y value as well so create new virtual field then i will take a decimal then geometry so this way you can able to calculate the latitude and longitude then click on ok so you are getting the latitude and longitude okay suppose you want to see the these things in decimal degree okay so you can convert this if you will go to google so you can convert utm to lat long okay suppose if you want to know the lat long for that location so you can convert by using this tool also okay so here what we need to add easting and northing we need to add so what is this this value is there x and y value we need to add and after that our utm zone after adding a utm zone if you convert you will get the latitude longitude and degree decimal as well okay so this way very easily you can able to get latitude longitude and altitude of that location so if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment sections thank you